Here is pretty good. He's a bit of an interesting, interesting person. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear, all custom work for you. I will create the tools of a master assassin. Sweet. I'm glad that I've got a such an amazing dude. No, this cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. I'll go get you one. From upstairs, please, while I hold this in place. Be careful. Yeah, sure. Oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. <laughs> and there you go. That's another thing that I like. Instead of telling you that it explodes, he... Oh, sorry. The game doesn't tell you it explodes, but he tells you it does, which is so good. Let's have a look at his notes. Fiero. No, we'll not sign off for these pages. A bag of powdered crystal, tibian ore. What's wrong with this? Metals in crystal. Yeah, okay, so maybe he's just, uh, while I'm footing the bill, I'll not approve your purchase unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. You know those things go out and scavenge them. Half the city's in ruins, so no one's going to miss the odd crap you need. Fair enough. So yeah, like I was saying, I uh, absolutely love to see that they tell you for thing they tell you things like that. And here we go, star chart. I don't know what that is, but I oh, get a bit of cash for it. Nice. So yeah, I, I think my point with this game with things like that is they I guess tell you how to do things in game in a nice and creative way and not uh not just straight up tell you you know so listen to this the academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths the pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it I speculate that a human being might by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities subject to the necessary legal hammers. <laughs> You obviously need the legal amnesty for that to uh you know not uh get put in jail for doing dodgy crap perfect. like that now plug it in all right here you go sir perfect thank you no worries here, see the assassin's mask you're a wanted man so everyone in the city knows your face but this mask will mean terror to <laughs> Such an iconic just, mask. Hold still. Fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I can Not really. more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Awesome. Tell me what I can make for you. I think I've got a bit of cash to buy some stuff. Or buy stuff from you. We've got some upgrades as well. Definitely want to upgrade a lot of this. I don't really know. I've only got about 600 bucks. I don't know what I want to upgrade just yet. I might. What I will do is I'll buy the mark. Mask optics. And the bulk capacity. Gives us a bit more capacity for things. And I can see a bit further. Which is nice. Oh, no, not bullet capacity. I want bolt capacity. Perfect. And we'll buy some sleep darts as well while we're here. <laughs> always, I, always so useful, like the sleep bolts. Perfect, thank you. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I do want to look around. Very well, you know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Oh, no worries. Thank you, Pierre. Piero. <laughs> Just going to keep calling him Pierre. So, yeah, there is a bit to look around and absolutely love the just general game design. And, like, as a kid when I was... God, I would have been, like, 12 when this game came out. And, you know, I've still never gone over there, to be honest. But, yeah, I've played this game so many times over the years. It's, like, such a good game. And even things like this, you know, we can come over here and you can kind of unlock this just yet, but you can go under there and, you know, go under, like under the tunnels. The 
and then you can like climb up here you know and like it's such a little area but you can uh you can go just about anywhere should be careful not to fall and break my ankles but oh you know here even like climbing up on things like here you know you can jump up here and then you can jump across well i can't apparently but there we go oh no and i fell off that's not good <laughs> yeah and then you can kind of like apparently not that way but i was kind of hoping to get up there but my point is is you can like obviously when you get double jump it helps quite a bit can i talk to havelock again you got anything to You've say to me the arrow. good you'll want to get some rest now you'll be needed soon fair enough well hopefully i get to meet some more some more people <laughs> god i get such this funny feeling in my stomach playing this game oh yeah over here so this is what i was talking about you can like climb down into the sewers which is real cool and I think it's almost worth doing because you can like pick up a lot of stuff like that. You know, like the processed whale oil and get a bit of cash for it, which is good. Is the man dangerous? Yes, very much so, but no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say uh -huh. he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. Yeah, well, hello. The Admiral served in the Navy under the Empress, but something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out, if I understand it right. Yeah. I think he got pushed out because he didn't necessarily agree with him. Hey, Pendleton. Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in happier days, but you might not remember. I was no. once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, yeah. I can tell you that. Well, you have to be to be a spy master. There's something distinguished about you, Corvo. Was there nobility back in your family line? I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I think I did fuck the Empress, so Do you know <laughs> that I'm helps. I'm kin to the late Empress in her line. Not close enough, sadly. I'll never be Emperor. Oh, well, you might now if you try Most and of the nobility went be straight careful. Over to the Lord Regent's side after the Empress died. Easiest thing to do. But to me... A noble birth requires a sense of loyalty. Fair enough. That's this good to know. Has fallen into ruin since the I just want to listen to this. These poor weepers moaning, bleeding no from the eyes. They say there's no cure for the plague once it advances that far. Mm. Terrible. All right, let's listen to this because he kept my waffling. My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. <laughs> the others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Oh. Speaking Wallace, please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well, I'll begin again tomorrow. <laughs> well, he's had a very distinguished life, I can imagine, growing up. <laughs> and this song, the Drunken Whaler song as well. Such a good song. Hey, Lydia. My, you must be Corvo. I am Lydia. At your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they Thank told you. me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. No. Recovered from doing so. Not, uh, not young. <laughs> now, I think, ironically, you can watch her <laughs> in the bathtub at some point. It's a bit of a piss take, but I think you can catch uh, Samuel as well, having a, having a cheeky look. Hey, Wallace. Please follow me to your quarters. No, nah, whoop. Well, you're going downstairs. My quarters are upstairs. Alright, anyway, let's get into here. You can come in through here at some point, which is what I usually like to do. My amazing, comfortable looking bed. I like that I get, like, right up the top. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Lady Emily Caldwell was abducted six oh, months Oh, jeez. Really six months? God murder. damn. Anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late empress is required to speak to the city watch at once. Damn. So we were in there for six months. Like, that's insane. Why are you in here now? This is your room. It was chosen to give you privacy. I understand you'll need your rest. Well, thank you, Wallace. A bit late, but whatever. Anyway, let's have a nice little snooze now. Definitely need it. Especially after six months in prison. 
No, I don't think we've woken up in a sort of right, right world. Anyway, let's go have a look where we are. <laughs> Such a cool area though, I've got to admit. Uh, whatever his name was, the, the unseen one or... Hello, Corvo. This bloke. Hey. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. Ooh. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the. Oh, void. we're in the void. That I makes am sense. the outsider. The outsider. And this that's is it. my mark. There are forces Ooh, thank in you. the world and beyond the world. Great forces that men call magic, and now these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Thank you. Come find me. Sounds good. So this is obviously the like teleport function or blink. Which I obviously very well know how to use. Oh, this was the cannot save her, you cannot save her, you cannot save her. Poor thing. And there we go. Piero's spiritual remedy. So I think as well with the elixirs. With um, obviously the red one and the blue one. So the blue one's Piero's Alexa, which is the guy we just met who made our mask and our guns and stuff and our sword. Sokolov's Alexa, the red one, or the health one, is that guy we met that was doing the painting at the beginning. And uh, they're not enemies, but they're, well, Piero and Sokolov, but they're, uh, I don't know the right word, opposites, you know. Now you can burn through this rather quick if you don't wait. So hence why I'm just waiting. Oh, okay, and we can see where Emily is. Okay, the Corvo, I'm very sad. They said, you're dead like mother, but I'll put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. So yeah, I like that this is showing what's really happened or where she is. So these two guys are Pendleton's brothers. I think he's the older brother and these ones are the twins. So you do meet them at some point. And this must be yeah, the spy master sort of trying to plan everything. Which is pretty cool. Oh, and these sort of walker things were the things I was talking about earlier. If you if you're being really chaotic, more of these guys appear and they're like quite difficult to deal with. So hence why I want to be low chaos so I don't have to deal with these guys as much. And the poor whales as well. They are absolutely slaughter in these games. But I guess this game is supposed to take place in like the 1800s almost? Late 1700s. In the days that hey. follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. I think it's the heart of Emily? With this heart, oh, not Emily, you will the hear Empress. Many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen awesome. to the heart now, and find another rune. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. I think this is the Empress's heart, ironically. And we can, yeah, obviously use it to find runes and charms and such. And I'm going to say, the Outsider's voice actor in this game was so good. Like, I absolutely love his his voice actor. And I don't know what happened in between games, because they obviously changed to another, another actor for the second one. And the death of the outsider as well which um was so weird like i don't know i can't remember his voice in the second one i don't think i liked it i thought it was a bit weird but i can uh i don't, I don't understand why i think they might have had beef which is uh hence why it happened because i think they tried to pay him less or i don't really know what the the drama was i'll have to have a look into into that and then death of the outsider was just weird because he had the option to to kill him you know or like pull him out of the void and it that got really weird because let's uh, switch real quick 
Because, yeah, Death of the Outsider ended up being that, like, he he was just a kid that he was trapped in the void and you could pull him out and... Or you could kill him. I don't know. Anyway, I think that was just terrible, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, first rune. This is so cool. And, yeah, you can obviously use them to get more powers and such. I don't really know, to be honest. I'd... You can use them for things like this, you know, like agility and like jump height and stuff but I might use it on might use it on dark vision first because that's really useful for seeing where people are I think the second level you can see to see in the dark see living things through through walls I think which was pretty good oh including their fields of visions and yeah it's so definitely worth uh, investing in how you use what I have given you falls upon you as it has to the others before you and now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. And that's what I loved about him in this game. He was so like mysterious and <laughs> there we go. There's the mark. Oh, here we go. Jeez, we've got like a lot of stuff here. A lot of bone charms, which I think you get like if you had pre-ordered the game initially, but I think now you just get it for the sake of getting it. Like, I think they retroactively changed it. So, I don't know what this is. Uh, I think this is just the, you know, from the Spy Master. It's him being a, him being a rat. Mystical <laughs> I say that as a mystical rat artifact. Yeah, there was this as well. Uh, rumors and sightings of Doud. Da so, he's the guy that killed the Empress initially. He was in the red sort of cost not costume, but outfit. So for, for over a year now, I've lived away from the Abbey without the company of my overseer brethren or the guidance of the blind sisters. Days have passed me by without sleeping in the dens of cut purses, murderers and worse. And the nights seen me prowling through the worst alleys and wretched corners of Dunwall, taking my meals with killers and times I ventured beyond the city walls, meeting forgotten graveyards and the outlying ruins of frequented by the ill means. And my beard's grown long... My hands, my hands are bloody. So my goal is singular. I must impress the assassin named Dowd in order to get close to him. Of all the practitioners of black magic we've tracked, none concern the Abbey as much as Dowd. It is said that his mother was a witch. According to legend, by the time the ship returned, the captain was dead. Dowd was still a shadow in her belly. So in the earlier stories, tell of a gang killer without mercy, moving along the shopkeepers and city watches. Watch officers of Dunwall, a reaper through the wheat. He just pretty much went around and killed a bunch of people and was just being a, a mob boss by the sounds of it. So new reports emerged of a, an assassin paid by the elite to eliminate their rivals. Yeah, so those who saw him and lived numbered in the handful, but all of them reported something strange. He appeared and vanished like smoke. From a nearby rooftop, he gestured and a noble woman stumbled from a balcony, falling to a room, or falling to a doom to the cobblestone below. The doubt is believed to be the one who caused the plague. The doubt has been seen leading a man and group of men in dark leather dressed as factory whalers with their vapor masks. They seem so loyal beyond comprehension for one so unworthy, leading me to wonder if some of his magic is dedicated to lulling their minds, enslaving them. I think in the Dowd DLC you can give them magic and that's what he's done. Only over a month ago one young girl claims to have come upon a strange scene. Dowd was seen kneeling before a shrine, muttering to an unseen spirit as if in argument. He took a carving of a pale bone from the altar before him, and the lights went out. So that was obviously him talking to the outsider. So there's no doubt Dowd is an agent of the outsider and must die. There's no limit to this evil, to that evil, I can't even speak, that this man might do. My solemn oath and great purpose in life, until Dowd is dead and his corruption has been purged from this world, I will continue to move amongst the depraved winding my way towards him or not drop my guys or don my overseas mask again until Dord breathes no more so yeah it's obviously Dowd's uh he's actually not a bad guy to be honest I think when you get to speak to him God, there's a lot of these like artifacts lying around we've got a whale artifact nice so these uh bone charms give us like extra bonuses and the journal of granny rags I think Granny Rags was another weird one where she 
was a normal person, but then she ends up working for the outsider, or I don't really remember the story, to be honest. But yeah, this the whole world in this game is like amazing. Like the world building that they did in the first one is just spectacular. And I think ironically, Car Carvo, Corvo and Dowd are from the same city. So not from this city, but from a different city a bit further down, which you get to go to in the second game, which is pretty cool. So I do want to go get that rune over there as well. Should I clear space for Sam Hill then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. He says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? <laughs> well, they all work. I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. And he died. Oh, bugger. Good day, Master Corvo. <laughs> Look how they call me Master. Alright, before we go talk to Admiral Havelock, I do want to go grab this over here. And as well, I might... I think you can... Oh, yeah, set them to different things. Perfect. I don't want to have anything, like, too lethal in my, uh... To, like toolbar here because I don't want to accidentally switch to you know the gun and kill somebody so all right let's go this way okay it's just here that's quite easy to come and grab Ooh, I can't even jump up there we go got it sweet we can use that to upgrade as well which I might upgrade my vitality as well which will be useful there we go, level 2, you regenerate health much more faster. And as well, I should actually activate some of these charms as well, which I totally forgot about. They're pretty good for, like, they just give you a bit of, like, some bonuses. So, the rats can be consumed for mana. White rats won't attack you, it's a bit useless. Yeah, I think I've just done some that, like, help. Oh, yeah, this is what I wanted to be careful of, these fish that, uh, that attack you. But yeah, I think I just, I've equipped one that like, let me swim faster and give me a bit more breath underwater, which is good. And I think if I eat, I can eat some rats as well, <laughs> which I'll give me a bit of mana back and stuff. So, which is pretty cool. That's Samuel. Anyway, let's talk to Havelock. See what well, we're up to. Let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is it's clear. True. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Perfect. Pull, Tonight, uh, pull High the Overseer cogs apart. Campbell dies by your hand. Ooh. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's mm, the gist. So we need her to put her on the throne. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Don't worry, I'll get it done. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. Okay. If you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Done. Perfect. I'll do my best. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. I did indeed. It was a good, it was a good rest. I was going to say real quick that uh, I totally forgot in Dishonored 2, you oh, can like... Corvo? Oh, you want to talk to me? Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. Ah, uh, so this is Callista. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still oh, serves well, as captain of the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Indeed. Before you became an assassin. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll protect him for you. I'll do my best. I think you get um, clues on how to how to do stuff, which is pretty good. 
So, yeah, and I guess I was right about Captain Jeff that we do get to meet him again, which is pretty good. I was going to say in a bit earlier that in Dishonored 2, you can completely deny the outsider's request to, like, give you the powers. So you can play the whole game without powers, which is pretty cool. I overheard the Admiral at breakfast talking about the Overseers. That's all I heard. And I think it's better if I don't know too much about what you people are doing. Fair enough. Hey, uh, Pierre, do you have a bit of cash that I've what got? What can I do for you? I just want to buy some stuff. I want to buy some more. Oh, I can buy a rune from him. Okay, yeah, why not? This cost me a, a ton, but... So buy some more sleeping bolts as well. I'm sure I'll find a few more of these out in the wild, so I'm not too fast. You know, I'll buy more, more bolt capacity. And... We'll do the crossbow accuracy as well. And we'll do combat sleeping darts. At least they, they'll go down instantly as well, which is good. So at least I don't have to deal with them, like, kind of, you know, moving around before they go down. They'll just drop, not drop dead, but fall asleep there straight away. Go. Just give the signal. Yeah, let's go.